so fucking anxious. My new psychiatrist tells me that anxiety is just excitement without oxygen. <laughs> excitement without oxygen. Also, one of my hobbies, autoerotic asphyxiation. <laughs> Don't you people knock it. It's very soothing if you live through it. So, uh, so I'm almost 50. Uh, I'm divorced, trying to date. <laughs> Oh, uh, <laughs> I just discovered I have teenagers, and I'm <laughs> starting to wonder if this is as good as it gets. In, in fact, I, I feel like somebody's midlife crisis Porsche that's been driven off the lot and is rapidly depreciating. <laughs> I heard you're thinking. You're thinking, Porsche, you're right, a Kia. <laughs> So I've had a lifelong uh, relationship with anxiety. Um, it's kind of a fat little kid, I had buck teeth, and then there were the corpses in my room. My dad was a theater professor. He did uh, stage and set design. And I know you're thinking, I didn't know that type reproduced. Surprise! So uh, in the 1970s, he does this, this play. Um, it's one of those, like, Family feuding, Romeo and Juliet, everybody's unrequited love killing each other kind of things. And so he decides to make the point by doing full body casts of his students and then incorporating them throughout the stage. And then at the end of the show, I also mentioned my father is a hoarder. So he <laughs> takes all these things down, stacks them like cordwood on the uh, car tub carrier of the Torino station wagon, brings them home and stacks them in my room. Needless to say, vigorous teenage masturbation was a little awkward in that room. <laughs> so, sex makes me anxious. My mom was my saving grace, and I do not mean sexually. <laughs> Fucking people. <laughs> uh, she, she did have a few quirks, though. Um, for instance, she was obsessed with the end of communism. And um, so bedtime stories were sort of like uh, prayers, really, for the fall of the Berlin Wall or the hope for success of the Strategic, Limit the strategic Arms Limitation Treaty 1 and then its sequel, the Strategic Arms Limitation Treaty 2. <laughs> so typically, mutually assured destruction is not the best way to get yourself to sleep. But she was right. You know, the Soviet Union did fall. The Berlin Wall fell. And with that, of course, there are all these ups and downs. Uh, there's, well, in fact, now we have, we have, we have Putin. safe word. <laughs> so, um, so speaking of um, dysfunctional families, uh, I also was raised Catholic and uh, I think a lot about the Holy Family. All four of them are five if you count the Holy Ghost. And I, I figured, you know, they had a lot of hurdles to deal with. Uh, I, as a divorced guy, relate probably most to Joseph. If Joe were here today, I would put my arm around his shoulder, and I would say, Joe, close your eyes. Breathe with me. <laughs> All right, now, Joe, say it. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah.